Quit my job suddenly via email. Boss wants me to come in for a face-to-face conversation. I've been working with a small company for about three years. And over time it has become an extremely abusive, toxic environment. My direct supervisor is the owner of the company. And I'm not exactly sure what caused the major shift with him. But he's a wildly different person than when I first started. He drinks every single day at work. To the point where he is inebriated. He is seriously verbally abusive. Screams daily. Explodes over the smallest mishaps. Calls us horrible names and slurs. Promises pay raises that do not come and promises new employees rates higher than what they actually end up getting paid. Asks us to do dangerous tasks outside of our required skill set and threatens and retaliates with majorly cut hours if we don't follow through. Goes through my vehicle when it's unlocked. Along with many other things. I have been on a job hunt for some time now. And finally landed a much more stable gig with a startup company. The launch is this upcoming Monday. And I found this out last week. I was initially going to let my boss know in person that I will be leaving immediately. But he repeatedly kept leaving early in the morning and not returning. Without notice. So I sent him an email with my resignation. Effective immediately. He did not respond right away. And when he did he said you need to come in on Monday morning so I can debrief you for your exit. And cut you your final check. I would have much rather received this notice in person than over email. I thought about going in and talking to him. But I need to start my new job tomorrow morning and won't be available. And to be honest my anxiety is seriously heightened by the idea of going in just so he can scream in my face and there will be no proof of it. How can I respond to this? And do I need to go in and have a face-to-face conversation? Update thanks for the responses. And thank you you Matty Nice for the reply suggestion. I sent an email saying unfortunately I will not be able to have a face-to-face conversation as I have other obligations going forward. My check can be mailed to address. I wish you the best of luck. Thank you. His response was immediate and said and nothing else whatsoever. So I guess that's that. It's over. I can breathe. Employment is an agreement between two parties. You have ended the relationship. Walk away and don't ever let it cause you worry or anxiety. They owe you a final paycheck and you owe them nothing. Past behavior is the best indicator of future behavior. He just wants to verbally abuse you. Scream. Call you names and slurs. Just reply telling him to send or deposit your check in the same manner as always. On the next regularly scheduled payday. As required by law. You're not legally required to have a final meeting with your supervisor. They are legally required to mail your last paycheck. Know your rights. Small companies will try to take advantage of those who do not. You need to. You don't work for him anymore. You don't need to do anything. Best of luck in the new job. Unfortunately I won't be able to have a face-to-face conversation as I have other obligations going. Forward. As I am no longer your employee. There would be no reason to meet up. I expect my final check in the same method as I have previously been paid. I wish you the best of luck. And no, you don't have to do anything you don't want to do. Edited used the wrong word. Credit to you where's my duckling for pointing it out. I tried submitting this in person on several occasions but you continued to leave early which resulted in me being unable to do so. I won't be coming back in person to talk about anything or do anything. There is nothing to debrief me on. I will expect my final check to be mailed to me promptly per state law. Thank you. They just want to give you a talking to. Or hear why you're leaving. You owe them nothing. There is nothing to be debriefed on. Full stop. You sound just like me after leaving my last job. Boss called me three days into my new job and my heartbeat jumped into high gear. 
You don't owe them a reply. If your new job starts tomorrow go to the new job. The only thing you should expect from old job is your last paycheck. My suggestion is to ignore the asshole. Congrats on the new gig. And fuck that guy. He sounds like a legit abusive asshole who doesn't deserve the respect of a face-to-face. -face. He drinks every single day at work. To the point where he is inebriated. He is seriously verbally abusive. And goes through my vehicle when it's unlocked. Do not go these are red flags that you may not be safe. Email. There is no need for debrief. I am no longer an employee. I expect my final check in accordance with Department of Labor or if not U.S. Whatever Gov. Department guidelines. Do not contact me further. Hi boss. You can mail my final check to my listed address. Address. All the best. My country is fucked. Don't even acknowledge the invitation my dude ignore any further messages from your asshole ex-boss. Good luck at the new job. Fuck you. Pay me see related YouTube. Know you respond with my new job starts this coming week and I will not be available for a debrief. At any time. You can mail my final check to my listed address. All the best no more no less. He wants you in person so he can berate and threaten you with no record of it. Keep everything in writing. If he's as much an asshole as you say he will slip and his jackassery will appear in the correspondence and you can use it against him. After you quit your job, your boss becomes a former boss with no power over you. Per my previous communication, I am no longer employed at XXX since date. Hence, I can no longer be paid for the meeting you propose. My policy of not working for free makes it impossible for me to attend it. Just say where to send the check. You're done with him. I cannot meet in person as I have other obligations going forward. My final check can be mailed to my address on file. Thank you for your time and good luck in your future endeavors. And if your final check isn't received by next pay period give or take a day or two for the local post office. Notify the doll. No. You don't have to come in to be manipulated. Made to feel guilty. Blamed. Yelled at. Etc. Tell him to leave your final check with X person or HR and you will pick it up from them. If he refuses perhaps mailing it would be best? Look up how long he has to legally get that check to you. But nope. You are under zero obligation to go in. He's not your boss anymore. No good will come of any conversation with this guy. And you are under zero obligation to have any further conversations with him. I'm presuming they have access to all work you've done and you are not in possession of any company. Property. No. Is a full sentence, full stop. Do not ever go in there again. You don't owe your ex-boss anything. He sounds like an utter douche. An abusive asshole who doesn't deserve any respect or one second more of your time or thoughts. He can mail or direct deposit your last check. There's no reason to subject yourself to his demeaning behavior anymore. Go to your new job and be happy or happier. At least and block this shitbird on all communication channels. It reads like he's destroying himself and his company. Not your problem anymore. He or she wants a face to face to either convince you to stay or maybe ask you to give a two weeks. Notice. When they fire you. Do you get a chance to work two more weeks or convince them that they should let you stay? No. That doesn't work for me. I'll look for my check in the mail. The end. You need to come in on Monday morning so I can debrief you for your exit. And cut you your final check. No I don't. You may mail my final check to my address on file in accordance with Department of Labor. Regulations. Ignore his request he must send you that final check, within a month I think. No thank you. Please wire my money ASAP. 